Hey, what up everybody? This is Steven Breach coming to you here today. Um, yesterday, as I was uh, going through uh, WrestleCon's um, online uh, sort of listing uh, for their upcoming convention in Dallas, I've been uh, compiling my list of people uh, that I want to meet uh, in Dallas at WrestleCon uh, for pictures and autographs and such. And it's always cool to go over and check out the WrestleCon Twitter because around this time of the year, um, whoever runs the WrestleCon Twitter starts losing their... Uh, Losing their mind a little bit with stupid questions uh, that they get asked over and over and over again. And the, whoever runs the, the Twitter feed normally starts to turn heel on people. And it, and it normally gets a little bit funny throughout the time. But honestly, as I was reading through um, their Twitter, this was the first time that I really believed um, the Hulk Hogan returns to WWE story that is out. Basically, WrestleCon uh, went out on the, uh, um, on the record. Uh, they tweeted it out that... Basically, a few of the different vendors um, have, have made offers to Hulk Hogan uh, to sign at, uh, at this year's WrestleCon. Uh, basically, if you think about the, the number of legends uh, that are out there on the open market, Hulk Hogan is probably the biggest name that could come in and make a lot of money. Uh, during the time he was with TNA, um, he signed at WrestleCon at WrestleMania 29, and he actually uh, sold out a whole session of autograph and uh, picture things that they had to br come back and add a second one at a higher price and even those uh sessions still um sold out hulk hogan um although he is you know you know sort of smeared with controversy as of right now seeing how the story of him uh yeah using his uh explicit rant came out uh, during the summer you know a lot of people coming to wrestlemania remember hulk hogan as being their childhood hero and they 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 try they, they cherish you know, getting that, you know, two minute session of, of meeting him, getting a picture, getting an autograph, maybe telling him a, a childhood memory uh, of something that, that, that they remembered or just getting that handshake or in my case, getting that hug. <laughs> it, it really, really matters to them. But um, this was the first time that I really believed uh, the story. Basically, WrestleCon said that, you know, a few vendors have, have made offers uh, to Hogan and Hogan didn't want to put any commitments out there on the table because Hogan really feels that uh, he is going to be working for WWE in some capacity uh, during that weekend and wants to keep his schedule clear, whether if it's him coming in and doing things for the network or if it's him doing things um, actually on the show. I remember last year, um, he, of course, you know, came out as a member of the NWO uh, during the Sting uh, versus Triple H match. Um, the year before that, at WrestleMania 30, he opened the show as sort of his coming home uh, to WWE with Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock having the big 20 to 25 minute promo. And even though he screwed it up, you know, it just gave everybody the feel of this is WrestleMania. This is the big time. And no matter what era you watched professional wrestling, your favorite wrestler was more than likely in that ring. Um, but, uh, I don't know how they would use Hulk Hogan if they brought him back to WWE, but I really feel that as of right now, if Hogan's going to be turning down, you know, uh, promotional, uh, sort of deals in Dallas to be signing uh, that weekend. I really feel that Hulk, Hulk Hogan really does think that he is going to be doing something with WWE and his return is is going to be coming soon. Maybe it's not as public as it, as it was when he was there doing Make-A-Wish and doing, uh, you know, the uh, breast cancer awareness and, uh, you know, being on Monday Night Raw at least like once a month. So, but sometimes, you know, you feel like, you know, for a returning legend, um, Maybe they were using Hulk Hogan a little bit too much that it didn't have a big time feel. You know, they brought him out there to ask him who was going to win, Brock Lesnar or, um, you know, John Cena. You know, I think that when you used them sporadically, like when they had Hulk Hogan's birthday and you had the returning legends come down like Piper and Orndorff um, and... Uh, then Brock Lesnar came down and challenged him to a fight, and I believe John Cena had to come down and save the day. Those are the things um, that, that you really remember that were big deals, you know, with Hogan and Lesnar having that stare down. Um, you know, basically it was you know, going back to SmackDown 2002 um, when Brock Lesnar killed Hulkamania, and of course the story was that Hogan was supposed to come back at Survivor Series uh, and beat Lesnar, but uh, basically Vince had changed his mind, and even though um, he had promised Hogan uh, that Hogan would beat him. Ended up being the big show uh, that would beat uh, Lesnar at Survivor Series. And that's still questionable uh, of whether that should have happened. But, um, 
you know, it was a fun story to think, you know, what would happen if it was Hogan versus Lesnar and would Hogan be able to to have a match with him? I don't think Hogan's ever going to wrestle again, but it's always fun to have that in the back of your mind. Um, but uh, we'll have to see. I think Hogan's coming back. I don't know how people are going to take it, but definitely WWE as a publicly traded company um, will have to, you know, take into consideration that uh, he you know, hurt a lot of people's feelings. And you got to wonder if, you know, in the matter of months, it's been from around SummerSlam time to, you know, WrestleMania. Are people willing to put that behind them and think that Hulk Hogan is a new man and then no longer, you know, would use that in uh, his personal life?